Hey guys, welcome to another exciting episode of our beauty, lifestyle and fashion show. I'm your host Adeze Adwaka and these are the headlines. Shayi Vibes becomes independent after parting ways with Dapper Music. A Nollywood actress Mercy Johnson faces backlash after being spotted in viral video. Fans accuse Naomi Campbell and LaRoche of shading Rihanna with the Muir video. Forever 21 dropped a premium fashion collection of cute office serene fits and Jennifer Aniston stunned in sparkling strapless gown on the 2024 Emmys red carpet. And on our trending segment, street hop sensation Shayi Vibes has left the popular label Dap Music. Since breaking into the mainstream in 2022, Shayi Vibes has soared to commercial success to become one of Nigeria's most notable artists. In recent developments, the hit maker has split from his label, Dapper Music, after he deleted all his Instagram posts, removed the label's name from his bio and replaced it with Independent, which indicates his non-attachment to any label. These actions come after he cancelled his Canadian tour for what the organizers described as circumstances beyond their control. The award-winning musician's alleged split from Dapper Music has led to speculations over the possible rift between the artist and the label under whose umbrella he rose to mainstream success in 2022. I think I've said it a thousand times that I really do not like it when artists and you know their record labels have a disagreement and they're not able to settle it amicably. I think that if you're under a record label and you know you grew in that record label and it is also a reason for your success or it you know helped you to grow through your fame and your success i think you should be able to have like a sit down meeting you know have important discussions with them on how to move forward than disappearing abruptly or like leaving the label without explanations or without you guys having a proper sit down you know just pay your respect to your label because they are the people who have contributed majorly to your success i think artists when they become successful and you know their name is now all over the place they tend to forget where they started from so i think shayi and his label uh, dapper music should just have a sit down and figure things out to be honest it's, it's not that hard life is not that hard and you know most of these successful artists they feel like once they leave their record label and just because they're famous that they'll make it with or without their label but trust me it doesn't always work like that i know so many artists that have left their record labels and you know <laughs> they are nowhere to be found today their songs everything has just been dead gone and forgotten so i really think that this whole artist label, you know, disagreements should just stop happening often. And on our spotted segment, Nigerian actress Mercy Johnson has come under fire on social media after being seen in a viral video rallying support for the APC party in Edo State. In the video circulating across social media, the actress was seen standing on a campaign vehicle urging a crowd to vote for the party's gubernatorial candidate. The video did not sit well with many Nigerians and was met with disapproval and disdain. Ex-users expressed their outrage over her support for the ruling party and within time, the actress became a trending discussion on the platform. Now, as much as I understand where Nigerians are coming from, you know, Nigerians are angry, you know, things are really not that's really good in the country right now. You know, things are a little bit difficult, you know, the scarcity of fuel, you know, the cost of things in the market and all of that. But at the same time, you will not stop, you know, a lady from supporting her husband's party. That's her husband's party and there's nothing she can do about it, unfortunately. Her husband is under the umbrella of the APC and she's just doing her duties as a wife. I mean, imagine being married to someone who is under that political party. You cannot stop yourself from campaigning for your husband. That's the only way you can, you know, show him support. Or rather, one of the ways that you can show your husband support. So please, Nigerians, channel your anger to... You know the people who you're supposed to channel your anger to and leave Mercy Johnson alone. She's just doing her duties as the wife of a politician and I think that's right there's nothing wrong with that okay. And on to our editorial segment fans believe Naomi Campbell and LaRoche were shading Rihanna with their new video about being demure while wearing designer clothes at fashion shows. On Saturday the celebrity stylist and the supermodel posted a video on Instagram of themselves together partaking in the viral demure trend that is taking over social media. We don't go to the shows like these other girls. We don't come with our tatas out or chichis out. Very demure, Roach said. 
Campbell then added, very mindful, we don't give too much. It's not about showing yourself, it's about showing the clothes. The dynamic duo concluded a video by alternating, saying, very demure, very cutesy, very mindful. Fans quickly took to the comment sessions of Roach's video, accusing the pair of talking about Rihanna, who seemed to ignore Roach and Campbell at a New York fashion show on September 6. Roach and Campbell's seemingly shady video comes a week after Rihanna entered the Alaya Runway show more than 30 minutes late to find her front row seat. Now, I understand where Naomi's pain is coming from. You, know, you can imagine, you know, Rihanna walking into, um, you know, a big event like that and ignoring the almighty Naomi Campbell. So I understand where her pain is coming from. I don't really know if that was a shade to Rihanna, even though it sounds like it. But if it is, I mean, Naomi, I don't think Rihanna even has the time for all of that. Rihanna is really, really busy right now, you know, doing things. I think she also went to launch um, Fenty Hair the other day in London. So I don't think she even has time to pay attention to all of that. But I mean... Queen of Shades, Naomi Campbell. She is really the Queen of Shades. From shading Anna Wintour to now shading Rihanna, I understand why she would feel that way, but girl, I don't think Rihanna cares. And on our new collection, Forever 21's first premium fashion drop, Lux XSI, has come right on time. The 18 piece collection embodies the TikTok viral office siren style trend, featuring a mix of elevated basics coordinated knit sets and evening wear. The lineup includes some standout wardrobe staples like fox leather trench coats, double breasted blazers and mini skirts in signature fall hues like burgundy, olive and brown. The collection also has great party looks like glitzy two-piece pants sets, sequin bra tops and fitted maxi dresses adorned with metallic mesh embellishments. As always, everything is priced reasonably and comes in regular and plus sizes. And on Spicy or Not, Jennifer Aniston may be the star of the morning show, but she sure knows how to make an entrance in evening wear. The actress dished her signature dark dresses on the 2024 Emmy's red carpet on Sunday, instead shining bright in a silver strapless Oscar de la Renta gown covered in elaborate beading. Aniston kept her enviable hairstyle straight and glossy, adding extra sparkle to the look with a diamond and platinum Tiffany & Co ring, plus matching vintage earrings and a bracelet from the iconic jeweler. Hmm, Jennifer Aniston. I love the fact that she is, you know, switching up styles this time and trying to look different and, you know, beautiful. But Jennifer will always be Jennifer. I mean, she's legendary. She's iconic. And I think she would slay any look. And I mean, any look at all. I saw a clip of her, you know, on the red carpet. And I'll tell you, she really looked really amazing. I don't know how these actresses keep up with all of this. Their looks, they always look flawless look their body their skin everything is just glowing and jennifer is actually an epitome of beauty so she really killed this look she really looked beautiful don't forget to catch us up at spice tv underscore africa until the next episode do have a lovely time bye